from the caravan. Ginawa na namin, sinetap na lang namin yung table guys. Kasi hindi naman namin ito matutulugan tonight. Kasi um, we're leaving today. Maya na yung konti after breakfast. We're leaving and we're killing that too. Perth. Kasi tomorrow ay working day. And I'm working again. So, yeah. Ginawa na namin siyang couch. But, paikot. Ayan. Nagliliquit na ako ng mga gamit namin pa para makauwi kami ng maanggay. And I'm not sure what time it is. Hindi ko na-charge yung aking phone. But later, I'll get that to you. Ayan guys, ready to go na kami. Mayang konti. And right here, tapos na na. Linis ko na ito ang ano na ito na kitchenette namin. Wala nang gamit siya, Anne. So, lagay natin yun siya. And, yeah, wala na masyadong ano. Wala na. Ito, camera bag ko. Tapos yung ano, yung may ibang gamit pa dyan. It's alright. And ito, wala naman empty. This one is also empty. Ito, may mga gamit dyan dyan. Chichiria at saka amin to. So, I'll, I'll make sure na dadad namin ito mamaya. So, and there's some food right here. Ayan. My computer is still charging and phones. And yeah, we're almost ready to go. Go back home. Such a beautiful morning at the farm. We are on the road back to Perth. Kakaalis na namin guys. So it's gonna be a long drive but we're stopping by Kataning. Right Baba? Yeah. yeah we're stopping by Kataning. Check namin yung the dome. What is the dome Baba? Well, it's just see if you have a cup of coffee the dome, yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Baba grew up there. I grew up here. I grew up there. Uh, here in the farm. But you. I don't know, work in Katani for the first job. Yeah, he worked in Katani for his first job. Palabas no. tayo ng farm. show you guys Jibop. there it is it's quite small can we get in there no we won't get inside huh there's the church peeps in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere yeah it's like in the middle of nowhere it's very apocalyptic scene like nothing, no one's there, no one's here, no houses. Oh my god, it's a heritage listed 1996. It's built in 1922. Oh my goodness. St. Peter's Church, Banjibab. Wow. Baba is there. Oh. What are you doing there, Baba? Doors locked, obviously. They still use it. Yeah. We can't get Baba in. Baba just rang the bell. <laughs> Did you ring the bell? Yeah. Bu ang talaga to. So this is where Baba got baptized when he was baby. So yeah. three of you, right? Um. Well, no, I did. I'm not sure about the other two. But probably. Jamie, probably. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's quite nice here, guys. Very peaceful. This is the kind of activity I want to do. Like go to in the middle of nowhere and get lost and experience the quietness this is because this is the reason why you're here in the countryside you relax be in a quiet place battle with snakes Tarot. <laughs> it's summer it's me it's spring but it's almost summer and it's because it's quite hot so snakes are out when it's really really hot now it's getting Maraming ano, flies. Hindi ako nakapagsuklay ng buhok ko kasi wala akong suklay na dala. So that's alright. <laughs> Ayun yung van namin. Oh. Right there, behind me. Balik na namin yan mamaya. So we have to be in Perth by 2 o'clock. And it's gonna be a long ride. Long drive. But I don't think we can get there at 2 by 
It's probably four. Well, with the light, I'll just take it back tomorrow. In the tanning now, people. Did you say that one? It's been 20 years since I put it up this road or more. It's been 20 years. So we're going to. What is it, Baba? It used to be the boarding school or the boarding, boarding house that used to, Jamie and I used to stay at. Mm. So the we're going there. The high school was over there. Over there? Yeah. That's the high oh, school. Oh, okay. I can see it right there. Um, yeah. And this used to be where we. College? Go. Or residential college? Oh my god. This is where you used to live? Yeah. Oops. Welcome to Katanning Residential College. But it's closed now. Oh, no, like re literally closed. Yeah, it's closed. It's no one. No okay. One, they don't use it anymore. So Baba used to live here when he was in high school. High school or college? Yeah, high school. school. Very country, eh? Yeah, it's pretty run down now by the look of it. Oh, there's people there. Yeah, what yeah. are they doing? You used to have cinema. We used to a, have cinema. a cinema. Oh, oh, basketball court. That's very rare to see a basketball court here, babe. Because yeah. normally it's yeah. baseball. I uh, know cricket, cricket yeah. court, um, cricket ground, and um, football yeah. ground. Because Aussies don't normally play basketball. Well, they play a lot. Of, oh, they do. They do, but not as much as they play football. Yeah. Aussie rules. So we're going back. Heading back there. So that's the school before. Yeah. Get up to the other function center. Uh -huh. Oh, not close yet. Well, oh, still going. Oh, they're still going. So we're going to Baba's old house. I mean, this has got cruise control. Family, family house. But it's all, they already sold it, so some, someone else is living in that house now. Can we still go in there? No. Not in there, but. Yeah. There's another close van there. That might be a, another caravan. Guys, that's the old house. Bahay nila Baba before. And you grew up here, Baba? Yeah. Oh no, we moved there when I was a teenager. Wow. Katanning Bowling Club right there. Katanning Hospital where Baba was born and we're going to the town now big man's house big man. <laughs> big <freckle. laughs> so we are in the town now it's open this is heritage listed as well but guys this is the dome <laughs> at the bottom it's a coffee shop and then uh, on the top accommodation. accommodation hotel how many rooms Baba? I'm not sure it's quite nice it's only been built the architectural they preserve the heritage flower mill heritage um, look of the the place whatever the building it's quite nice very very nice it's interesting as well look at this yeah I think that's where the old bags used to come down or something. Yes. Like. Oh. So this this was a yeah. So guys, this building used to be a flour yeah. mill, and they they bought it for a dollar, right? Yeah. The, well, the, the guy that owns guy the dome. That, yeah, the guy that owns the dome. They bought it. He bought for, it for a dollar. For he, a dollar. But he had to obviously spend millions of dollars yeah. renovating it. And he spent a, quite a fair so, bit of money to renovate the whole. A lot of money to renovate the place and the accommodations up, upstairs and the dome, restaurant, coffee shop at the bottom. It's quite nice. 
very nice, very nice. pretty much everything na nandito sa ano nandito sa built sa old old flour mill na to they preserve preserved everything the machines are still there yung ganyan oh and nandito pa rin like pretty much everything but nice heading to the road again back to the road peeps ganda dito no it's nice Going back to the road. On the road. Katani Woolies peeps. Huh? Do you want to pull in here or not? Why? Nobody's there. Big man's. Big man's um, business. <laughs> it's quite nice. That one. I like that house. Motel. Right there. What's this? Well, it used to be like the an adventure playground. It's getting all done up now, though. It's oh, money okay. On it. Oh, that's good. <coughs> They're building a playground there, guys. As you can see, Merlin swing slides whatever. A few moments later. So guess where we were at? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. So Baba got pulled over by the police for breath test and he blew over the limit. So we had a quick detour and trip to the police station. But it's all good. It's all good. Just a ticket and six points demerits. It's all good. So what happened guys was we were turning in a big roundabout going back to Perth and we got pulled over by the police for the breath test and then blew over the limit so we had a big we had a, a detour to the Catanian police station for like 30 minutes walking towards the van now guys <laughs> <laughs> what a day what a day so peeps this is where Baba used to work when he was a teenager. Yeah, Kataning Mazda Holden Edwards. <laughs> big man, big man's business. <laughs> Family friend then. Yeah. So Baba used to work here. A printer, a printer ship. Yeah. He used to work there. Um, the owner of that is Puppy Greg's best friend, family friend. Yan siya unang naging mekaniko. Char! Ayun yung van namin guys. Oh. Iniwan namin dun. <laughs> He's very disappointed of himself. It's a lesson to everyone. Never drink and drive. Because it's gonna be expensive. Far out, it's expensive than you think. And we're back here. Finally. It's been lots of fun. <laughs> fun. Fun. Fun ride to the police station. <laughs> Never drink and drive. Back on the road, peeps. We're back on the road. <laughs> Not fun at all. Are you okay now? Nice and yellow.
stopped over guys para si Baba ay makakain because um, he needed something to eat and he's not feeling so good at the moment after what happened. So, yeah, this serves a big lesson to us. Not just for Baba, but to everyone. Never drink and drive. And if you drink, drink not too much. Okay? It's an expensive lesson, guys. So we're here guys sa wooden Ealing. Sa crossing na kami, palabas ng wooden Ealing. And Albany Highway na yan dyan papunta doon. Pabalik ng Perth. Nothing you can do about it anymore. Oh, because um, it's all done. It happened. There's nothing you can do about it. Here you go. Can you see that? Huh? I can't. I can't see that anymore. I should have pressed the pen here. Can you see it? Yeah, a bit funny back then. Okay. Yep. We are somewhere in... What's this, Baba? Bannister. Can, can, Bannister. Bannister, yeah. The Bannister. You got the card and check my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pee. Where's your phone? I don't have your phone. It's here. Hmm? Baba? So, do na siya, guys. So, he's been stressing out because twice we got pulled over twice. The first one was a disaster because he blew over the limit and we had to go to the police station to do the secondary breath test and. Uh, yeah, he was at the limit, like range, limit. And he was issued um, a ticket, a fine, plus a six point demerits. So that's quite bad. But what can you do? The worst part of about it is that that money, the fine that he would pay, it was, is going to the people that actually don't work and don't pay tax so yeah there you go the road again malapit na 94 k's away from Perth so maybe an hour and a half There's a train. Coming from that way, right there. Are you in this one? Hey, you're blocking it. There. The boom gate is open.
And then here. Yeah. You're on. Yeah. We are back in Southport. What a day, Baba. What a day. We're back, peeps. Unload lang kami. So ayan guys, andito na kami sa purse. Mag-unload lang kami ng mga gamit. And then, ipapark lang siguro to ni Baba sa labas for now. Because um, it's quite big. And it's a quite, it's a long vehicle. Last look. You said. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. After a $400 fine? <laughs> no, that's depression. <laughs> Pagpag na ni Baba, dun sa labas na lang yung ano, yung van. We are home, peeps! And Hagar Des, ang aking itsura. Nag-break out ako, guys. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, at marami pang iba. And dito pa. I have so many breakouts na I'm not sure if it's the body shop kasi... First time kung gumamit ng the body shop na ano na na skincare and that's all of the sudden parang nag switch ako sa bagong skincare in which I came from a very young ako na skincare so I'm not sure if it's the body shop or just the weather so we'll see um yeah I have so many things to lipit lipit area malaming malaming lipitin at wala akong uniform for tomorrow so magwash ni pa ako. It's been a very stressful and tiring trip back home. But we're finally home. Have you learned your lessons? <laughs> I'm now a criminal. You know, you're not. Um, you maybe just un underestimated the power of alcohol. You drank too much last night, so guys, this is an advice that goes to everyone. This is not let, just... Let your wife drive. No. If you drink and have fun, think about tomorrow. If you're driving, then don't drink too much. You know, you can have fun, but at least control yourself sometimes. You gotta learn. And then, have you learned your lessons? And it's a very expensive lesson. Six demerits point. <laughs> And a four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> imagine that money. It would go to what, Danny? Tell them. No. <laughs> what? What shits me the most is it's that money is gonna go to people who don't work and don't pay tax. So there you go. Instead of that money, can would actually go to food. Clothing, travel, well, it's gone to waste. To the mouth of people I'm that don't work. The economy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. So there you go, guys. That was our trip down to the farm. And I'm a very naughty boy. Very naughty. <laughs> but that's alright. At least we're safe. We have learned some lessons. I'll be getting a speck on the bum later. No. No? No, uh, but I really hope that you have learned your lesson. Okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed our trip down to the farm, although it was a kind of um, limited because <laughs> it's it's only a few days. I hope we could um, could have stayed longer, but we have to come back home because of work and Dan has a business to run and also I cannot, I cannot afford to take another day off because I'm saving it for December. Did, did you tell them the story of how we ended up watching the grand final? Oh yeah, no, 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 no,
Jamie, my brother's um, TV wasn't working, mm -hmm. and my uncle Steve has got a Winnebago or RV oh, in a TV, yeah. and we had to drive around around the <coughs> farm in the middle of um... in the middle of nowhere to find <laughs> reception. Yeah. And uh, we ended up finding it right next to an old plough that was still sitting there from 20 years ago. I think because of the metal. Maybe. Metal, so we, we, we pulled it up and then we all sprinted. We all rushed back with the, our utes. Yeah. We got all the all the food and everything. And then sat there in the middle of the paddock and watched it. Yeah. And the, <coughs> the, the very disappointing part is Richmond won. Mm, the terrible zone of footy. Very terrible. Because the... The, the difference between the scores. Oh, man. One of the biggest things ever. Terrible, terrible game. Well, I, I, don't, I don't hate them, but I just don't like them at all. So, Richmond, no way. Next year, I really hope that the Eagles and Richmond would be on the grand finals because that would be very, very exciting. And I would probably, I would probably go to MCG <laughs> if that was, if yeah. After today, we can't afford it. Yeah, well, after today, because of four hundred dollar fine, we cannot afford anything anymore. <laughs> we're not eating baked. We're not. We're not eating for days. Baked beans. Mm, we check the cupboard if we got some baked beans there. Uh, now then, we we cannot afford even baked beans. We got sardines and all. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go guys, that, a little bit of brown vinegar. <laughs> that ends our vlog for today, hope you enjoyed, please like, please subscribe and don't forget to always think positive, don't drink dry. Oh, I did, well, I did, but it, was, you did not. it wasn't like I went out and got drunk and then No you did not, okay, was... you just underestimated the power of alcohol, that's it, alright, and you did not listen to me. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our vlog for today. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Good night.